More than 600 people died in boating accidents in America last year. That's part of the motivation for law enforcement to step up enforcement on a holiday weekend like this. When so many people get in the water for the first time this season, we rode along with Fish and Wildlife this afternoon. Hey, this is probably one of the busiest, and, and the reason being um, Memorial Day. It's the kickoff, basically, of summer for, for a lot of folks. Paul Arkin from FWC, our guide along the St. John's River Monday, he discussed some of the safety concerns on this Memorial Day weekend, including boaters who drink and drive. Arkin then showed us what these experts look for when it comes to things like jet skis. This happened at Julington Creek, and then he spoke with some boaters near downtown. And the reason I'm coming to talk to you is I don't see your registration numbers on board. No. No. They're right here. They're on this side. Okay, you got to have them on both sides. I do? Yes, sir. How old are you? As you can see, he's got his kill switch lanyard. It's attached to his life jacket, and uh, both of them have life jackets on, so they're good. I'm not, I'm not writing you a ticket today. I'm just letting you know that you need to slow it down in between the, the Fuller Warren, which is that first bridge, all the way to the Blue Bridge. Just to be patient. There's a lot of new, inexperienced boat operators that are out for the very first time. One thing we want to uh, stress for boaters out here is Consuming alcoholic beverages and operating a vessel impaired, we have zero tolerance for. If you'd like information on boating safety courses in our area, we put a link to FWC's website. That's on our website. Go find it on newsforjax.com.